Hey everybody, so I'm going to do a reaction video to this that police activity has up. Great channel. Um, you know, all of this is public domain, based basically video by um, Freedom of Information Act. You know, we get these body cam footages, so you know, nothing proprietary here. But it says body cam capture a shootout between woman and national officer in Tennessee. Another thing I have to disclose is I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a cop. I'm a lay person watching this video, giving a reaction, giving my opinion. It might be right. It might be wrong. But either way, it's my opinion. And that's just something, you know, we're going to have to look at and, uh, you know, go with. I'm going to put on my headphones so I can hear it. Let's go ahead and make it bigger here and let's get it going. Okay. So you got a officer. So in the description it said that this vehicle is registered to a person with like six warrants or something like that. So you have a vehicle that is known to be registered to somebody they're looking for. Just bring your bag out here. Okay, now Man, we have stop, sound. Stop going through it. See, she's digging around. Come step right back That's here. pretty iffy. What did you take out of it? Nothing. I okay, okay. All right, listen. Just come back here. I think we're getting off on the wrong foot, okay? Because I'm really... He seems to be pretty nice, and he's just trying to uh, get the situation under control here because it is kind of weird she's going in the vehicle. Why I'm He's stuck. got several warrants. Okay, I, that has nothing to do with me. You don't know. Well, yeah, it does. Know who's in the car? Nobody's in my car. Well, now I know that. However, now I'm going to address the other problems. Okay, so you want so, my bag and all okay. my belongings? So just step right back here. No, he doesn't want your bag. The vehicles are registered to somebody they're looking for. You happen to be driving it. And there's other issues, apparently, and he's going to get into that if you would just be quiet. Can I use the restroom? And Can you use the restroom? What part of traffic stop does she not understand? That doesn't take a rocket scientist to know, no, you're not going to be able to use the restroom. Let you know this being audio and video recorded, just to let you know. Okay. 23, you did it. I love how she never asked about the restroom again, and I love how uh, he kind of just ignored that. I have one more. That would be that would be good. He wants another person on the scene. She keeps going in that vehicle. I would be worried if I was the officer. She's going in and out of that vehicle way too many times. Drive and for church, you and drive and for church. Look at those nails! Oh my God. How does she drive? How does she go in her purse? How is she using her phone? Can we step back here? 21 to 23, do you need me code 3? Negative, just code 2. So it's just in here? Yes, sir. Okay, was Seven there... Four, about five minutes from me. This is... Yeah, look at that. Uh, kind of looks grainy. I guess that's uh, weed. So, doesn't seem too bad. Calls her mother. I don't know what the mother is going to do. If you're getting arrested. You're getting arrested. Hey, are you available? Yeah, that's that's what happened. Cars in the guy's name. There, he's wanted. They pulled you over, looking for that guy. Brick Church, Brick Church and Ewing. Look, he's even helping her where, where they're at. He's letting her use the phone. 13, can I She's be not in handcuffs. Four away. Disregard, actually. Disregard on that. He's going to set that in his vehicle. Because that's evidence. 
she starts packing up. You you, <laughs> yeah, I'm not done with that though. Where's your lighter at? In the car. 13, it I'll says you're about time. seven minutes away. I'll, I'll get it for you. Now. He will get it for you in a second. She's ignoring him. Uh, second, okay. Uh, so you oh, She's going to the car. The He's oh, like, oh, it's right there in your door. Me. Thank you. <laughs> More drugs? That's powdery. I don't know. I don't know my drugs. Is a well, I would say coke, but heroin or something? I don't know. Yeah, come on. He's busy on that phone, trying to light the cigarette. Seems like a pretty calm traffic stop right now. Here, do me a favor, turn around. No, hold turn on, around. put me in handcuffs. I think because of the other narcotics is why she's getting arrested. The weed, that wasn't a big deal. But the harder stuff, yeah, now it's a big deal. I haven't done anything wrong, ma'am. Haven't done anything wrong, but, you know, have some narcotics on you. No, don't put me You're about to get paid. No! He's warning her, you ain't get tased, because she's running now, and she's on the phone. Get I love the flip-flops just fly off. No! Get down on the ground! Get down on the ground! She's keeping hold of that purse and that cigarette pretty dang good. You're going to get tased. Now, a reasonable person would stop, and they would uh, obey, right? Because at the end of the day, you're just going to get handcuffed. You're going to get charged with something. You're going to be out. Unless uh, you have a rap sheet, that's not going to be a big deal. Okay. So he has the taser out. She's leaning to the right. She got zapped. It's in her leg, it looks like. And this is where we might have to go slow. He's trying to, he grabbed her arm. He's trying to pull her out. She's a big woman and he, so it's going to be hard to do. A lot of weight there. By the way, that's not fat shaming. That's just facts. Help. You're the one resisting. You're the one that ran around the car. You're the one that's not obeying lawful orders given to you because you're going to be placed in handcuffs. Do nothing. I didn't do nothing. Yeah. You're not obeying. Step out. She's looking. Ma'am, put the gun down. Step out. Ma'am, put the gun down. Put the gun down. It's hard to tell. I'm assuming she shot too. <laughs> 23 shots fired. The shots fired. I'm surprised. <laughs> if he didn't hit her. <laughs> and it doesn't seem like she, he did. She starts the vehicle and she drives away. Yep. <laughs> I am surprised. He sounds like he's been hit. He's tasing. Step out. Ma'am! Put the gun down! Put the gun down! Oh yeah, she shot. Now what does she think she's going to do now? See, Tennessee plate. So yeah, as we know, this was in Tennessee. And uh, where does she think she's going to go? They have her plate. They're going to catch her. Now she's going to be in jail for a long, long time. All because she wouldn't put her hands in cuffs. 23 shots fired! The shots fired! 10-4, 13, keep code 3. She throws the gun out. She has to be hit. She shut the door. And she drives off. Uh. 
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is just amazing. That she, let's go back here. Let's go back further. So it goes from her going in and out of the vehicle, playing on her phone, it's lighting up, to, hey, just put your hands behind your back. I'm going to put the cuffs on you. And she goes to no to right out running around the building. Or running around the building. Running around the car. What is she thinking? Maybe she has a rap sheet. Doesn't want to go back to prison. Because otherwise you just follow through. Okay. He'll just plead that that was personal use for the drugs. And not a big deal if you have no other convictions. And you know you might have to do some uh, community service, pay a fine. It's not going to be the end of the world. But, man, she is just going completely nuts over putting her hands behind her back. I don't care what color you are. This is just stupid. This is just a stupid person that could have not, could have just followed orders and been in and out. Maybe she wouldn't have been taken to jail. But because of the harder narcotics, they were going to at least put her in cuffs until they figure everything out, right? I wonder if she was even allowed to own that gun or have that gun or have possession of a weapon. But, yet she did. She used it. And she's going to be easy to pick up and find. It's not, where, where does she think she's going to hide? It's totally crazy. I, I don't get it. People like this, instead of blaming the police, could simply just, you know, follow orders and be in and out. And, you know, of course, they're breaking the law. They're not thinking. That's that's the problem. I mean, she's making it a lot worse than it had to be. Right here, especially, she could have been like, you know, to shoot at a cop who, who you think's gonna happen i am surprised she was not hit <sighs> crazy it's a crazy world we live in take care and stay well my friends have a good